Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Derek Ong with my next video on how to calculate an appropriate sample size uh, for us to conduct a social science or whatever um, conducting survey experiments. Um, so many students have asked me, um, how do we know whether or not we have collected enough sample sizes or how many sample sizes do we need to collect? So I'm going to be teaching you how to use the G-Power software to calculate uh, the uh, required sample size that you need. So let's say, for example, if we're going to be doing a uh, regression analysis with, um, say, uh, three uh, independent variables. So we have one dependent variable and three independent variables. So let's decide first how much do we want to collect. So the uh, we open up our G-Power. The uh, multiple linear regression here uses the F-test to test for the significance of the um, model. So make sure we choose F tests. And of course, the statistical test that we want to use is the linear multiple regression. And we want to choose the uh, fixed model R squared deviation from zero because we say that the um, F is deviated from zero, which means that there is a significance of the model. So in terms of power analysis, we are going to look into a priori to see how much of, uh, uh, what do you call this, the uh, sample size we need. So here is where we check on the effect size. Now, to determine the effect size, we usually, see my mouse over here, ah, there we go. The effect size, also known as F square, is the effect that we want on the population if something is found significant. Now, do bear in mind that uh, finding a significant effect is no longer a, um, uh, what do you call this, a, uh, a, 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 a conclusion or, or a, a, a standard to say that it is, it is good or a confirmation that there is going to be an effect. You will have to supplement your significance test with an effect size calculation. So usually if we use Cohen, uh, we're going to use 0 0.15 medium effect size. So that's the standard that we're going to use. Uh, this, of course, is the uh, alpha value, uh, which is commonly set at 0 0.05. Power here is, of course, the power of the test, which sometimes 0 0.95 may be a little bit too conservative, so usually we set it at 0 0.8. Yeah, it is, of course, the beta value. The power of the test is 1 minus beta. To predict this here, we have 3. As we said, we have 3 independent variables. Okay? So, here all we have to do is to calculate. And uh, you notice from the F critical value here is the difference between your beta and your alpha. And we say that our total sample size or minimum sample size that we need is actually 77. So, if we gather a sample size of more than 77, then it will increase our actual power and it will give us a much better result uh, in terms of power of the test. So don't worry about this point in where we say that we'll be me to have um, uh, 300 as a rule of thumb. Um, follow the G power, but of course it would be always better to have more sample sizes in case uh, so that we can see that we have enough uh, significance and uh, effect size. Okay, so now I'm going to move on with, imagine that this is what you're going to collect after your pilot test. Now, once your data set has all come in, we want to check to see if our data uh, or our sample size is adequate enough for the uh, power that we want. So for that, we're going to keep our F test, 
linear multiple regression fixed model from uh, deviation from zero. And we're going to change this now to a post hoc. Compute the achieved power given the uh, alpha value sample size and effect size. So let's say we have collected 105, for example. And uh, we keep the effect size as 0.15, error 0.05, and the number of predictors as 3. So once we calculate and we get to see that our power, now look at the graph has shifted into our critical value, it's now 0.91. So we know that with even 101, we must also then um, report that we have enough statistical power with enough effect size that we want in terms of minimum effect size for the number of sample size that we have. So I'm sure that this would really, really be um, beneficial to a lot of students, uh, especially for those who feel that they can't get enough sample sizes for the uh, research that they're doing. So if you have any other questions in terms of G-Power, please let me know. Uh, in, other than that, thank you for watching and please look forward to my other videos. Please send me an email if you have any questions. Thank you.